every decision you make is definitely not going to be in the books and not going to be in the protocol. It's going to be behind that nurse that is there. I see it every day where doctors are consistently looking to these nurses that have been here for the 15, 18, 20 years, even 30 years um, for advice, for guidance. And, and it gives you the confidence to make that decision and make sure that that patient is safe every day. We've seen a lot of turnover. We see a lot of new nurses coming in, new, uh, new grads, that they get their A item and then they soon leave. So we've definitely seen the, the, the sort of shift, short staff, uh, longer hours, uh, bigger workloads for us. Our patients keep coming in. We don't have the nurses to, to uh, help them. And patient care can't suffer. No matter what your social or economic background is, if you get into some type of traumatic accident, no matter what, you're gonna come to a county hospital, a level one trauma center. Because we work in the emergency room, we see patients come in at their worst. We have patients that sustain traumatic injuries, and we need to have the most experienced nurses in those areas where we see our most critical medical patients. So if we had a natural disaster and we don't have the, the nursing staff, we will not have the resources to take care of those patients and that will devastate our community. We do everything we can to be prepared, but it really is a numbers game. We don't get to pick and choose when people are getting shot or stabbed or overdosing um, or in a car accident. A lot of times a lot of people will come in all at the same time and the number of nurses that are there are the number of nurses who can take care of all the people coming in and it can make a big difference and be, mean the difference between life and death. If the ICUs don't have the staff that they need, then they close beds. We do everything we can to prevent that, but that means I'm not taking my breaks. And I mean, there's been shifts where I haven't even gone to the bathroom for 13 hours. Because these patients are not going to Kaiser, these patients are not going to Cedars, they're coming to us. In fact, we get transfers from all kinds of outside hospitals. When these patients do end up somewhere else, they just send them back to us. We are their primary doctor for a lot of these folks. They're, they rarely have one thing wrong with them. And so our patient population are really complicated medically. And that's where it gets really important to really care for our nurses so that we can have that reserve and that experience to share with these people. We don't, if we're not here on the front lines, nobody's gonna be taking care of these people. I'm united with all the other nurses because we work really hard. We love our nurses. We love our patients. Just to uh, uphold to other hospitals, we need to uh, be united and to stick together and fight for our patients. People are asking us why are we wanting to abandon our patients. The county abandoned their patients a long time ago. And that's basically because they're not paying enough to retain and recruit these quality nurses. Every time that you know a nurse has to hand off their patients to another nurse and put that puts them out of ratio, they're in violation of the state mandated uh, nurse to patient ratio, Title 22. What we're asking for is basically the fair contract to retain and recruit our quality nurses. I voted no today because I believe in my community and I am passionate about giving great patient care. We believe deeply in caring for our patients, whether they are a jail inmate, a police officer injured in the line of duty, whether you're a recent immigrant, or you crash your Mercedes on the 5 freeway and you need trauma care. We want to be at our patients' bedsides giving them the care that we believe so deeply in. But let's be clear, LA County nurses are ready to strike.